Okay, so you got your Time Warner Cable Mobile Internet Air Card in the mail, and you're pretty excited to load it up to your netbook. Unfortunately, your netbook doesn't have a CD Bay drive. And what comes in the box is a CD. So what are we going to do today? We're going to take you through the steps of how to get the software from the web, downloading it, and putting it to your netbook via one of these pretty numbers. Uh, doesn't have to be an Oceanic Time Warner Cable thumb drive, but any thumb drive will do. Um, so we're going to load that from internet connected computer and pop it into our netbook and we should be flying. Here we go. So of course the first thing you want to do is pop your USB thumb drive into any internet connected computer. In this case it's our desktop computer. Um, so you're just going to plug it in, it's going to find the drive and we're going to take the next step. So the first thing we want to do is go to www.timewarnercable.com slash mobile software. So we'll go ahead and copy this URL out and paste it into our browser. And it's going to do a redirect to the help.r.com site. Um, in this case, we have a Windows operating system. Mac is down here. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and download software exe for the Windows platform. It's going to ask us if we want to save the file, we're going to say yes or save. And then we're going to scroll down here to our removable thumb drive that we popped in earlier, which is our iDrive. There's nothing in it. Connection Manager, this is the version. And we'll go ahead and press save. And it's going to download. It's about 36.3 megabytes. So it's going to take a little bit, even on this network connection that we're on. So what we'll do is uh, we'll come back after it's done downloading. Okay, so the software finished downloading onto our thumb drive. You can see it here in our removable disk I. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take it out or eject it. Check flash disk and we're ready to move to the next step. Of course we ejected the disk from our software point of view so all we're going to do is pull it out and we're ready to move to the next step. Next step is pretty straightforward. You take that thumb drive and pop it right into your USB drive of your netbook and we're ready to go to yet another next step. Okay, so once I popped in the thumb drive it asked me what I want to do with it. Of course I want to open the folder to view the files which in this case is just one file and that's the puppy we want so we're going to double click this and start the installation process now this could take a little bit of time because we are on a netbook it doesn't have all the bells and whistles and juice that we need but uh, so we get this and we want to say yes we want to allow this computer the following program to make the changes to the computer and it's going to go through its processes here. This is going to take a while too, it looks like, so uh, maybe we'll come back. So again, uh, we're loading Time Warner Cable Connection Manager software sans the CD, uh, because the netbook doesn't have a CD. So we're using a thumb, thumb drive. We loaded it from the internet, loaded it to the thumb drive, popped it into the netbook, and now we're extracting the files from the uh, executable software that we downloaded onto this netbook and hopefully uh, things will go very smoothly and we will have Commission Manager up and running sooner than we can blink an eye. So we're almost done here. Okay, so I guess I'm just thinking about doing something. Here we go. Connection Manager Install Shield Wizard. Manager Setup is preparing to install Shield Wizard, which will guide you through the program setup process. Please wait. Configuring Windows. Preparing to install. Welcome to the Install Shield Wizard for Time Warner Cable Connection Manager. To continue, click Next. Yes. And we 
don't do what I'm gonna do but uh, we're strapped for time on this video so be sure to read this uh, scroll to the bottom, all the way to the bottom, read it, accept the Time Warner Cable Terms of Service and click on next, or you can actually print or click on next and it's going to install it into this file structure, if you don't like that you can change that with this button I love that location, so we're going to go ahead and click next and uh, click install to begin the installation, if you want to review or change any of the installation settings, click back we want to go 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 and install here we go please wait while the install shield wizard installs Tamara cable connection manager this may take several minutes uh, right now uh, here we go here we go beautiful <coughs> Copy new files based on the status report. There we go. Installing drivers, please wait. There we go. I'm gonna. It says please confirm your preferred settings in the list below for upgrades. Options may not appear. You can change the settings at any time using the tools menu and the connection manager. Uh, this option, manage my Wi-Fi network connections, is just so that you can ma pretty much what it says, you can manage your Wi-Fi network connections through the connection manager software rather than having you know, your native Wi-Fi software manager. Uh, I like to check this because um, it eliminates conflicts for the most part. I like to just have it all go through one piece of software. That's pretty much what I'm checking right here. Uh, please finish to complete the installation, so we're going to go ahead and finish. There we go, it's initializing. This is what the Connection Manager software looks like in this bottom right corner. Uh, it's initializing. Actually, I don't have a uh, device in the uh, netbook right now, so I think that's pretty much all we can do at this point. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and get a device and be back. So the next step says please insert your device so that's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to put our nifty time warner cable uh, air card in here and away we go. So it's installing the device driver software now. You can click here for status. Uh, we don't need to do that. We're just going to wait until it's done. <coughs> And then once the device driver, oh, okay, so it's already done. Oh, installing device driver software now. Um, so once that's done, it will be, here we go, what's happening here? Installing device driver software, so first things first. Let's move this up here. Sierra wireless device, all these uh, ports. It's uh, going, going. Once that's done, the connection manager software that we just installed is going to uh, notice that it's there. Sync it up and we should be able to connect to the internet fairly shortly. <coughs> So we're just down to the last two, mobile WiMAX access and network adapter. One more to go. And we're good to go. So we're going to close this. And hopefully the connection manager will discover this device. See the blue light flashing on the device, so that's another positive sign. Initializing, switching for 4G. Connecting to 4G. Authenticating. Containing IP address. Bingo bango. Connected to 4G.